In this video tutorial, you will learn how to record your screen and create video lessons. First thing you need to do is download an application that will enable you to capture the screen and what is happening on your computer. The software that we're going to be using is called Screen Recorder Pro. To download it, open the link and click download. And I will share the link in the description. I've just downloaded and installed the software. The user interface might look a little bit different using a Windows-based computer, but that's the idea is still the same. The first thing you want to do is to select whether you're recording web camera or screen. We want to record screen and the microphone. Make sure you select system, sound, and microphone. For the resolution, make sure you record full screen. Once you're ready to record, click record. If you have a web camera and if you want to include yourself into the screencast or screen recording, make sure you click at the top, then click on show hide recording bar and click on the webcam. Select the webcam. You've selected the webcam and it doesn't show. Uh, make sure you go to system preferences uh, to security and privacy. In your camera, make sure that the screen recorder is selected. So this will uh, add me to the screen recording. So I think it feels more personalized. As you can see now, I'm recording my screen and my web camera. Now I can show a PowerPoint. Whatever you do on your screen will be recorded. You might wanna use a PowerPoint or a whiteboard uh, or whatever it is that you wanna do to create a video lesson or a lecture. Once you've done a recording, click stop. This will take some time to generate a file. Screen Recorder normally asks you to sign up or evaluate. Uh, just feel free if you wanna create an account, I normally just close it. That's my recording. You can see me right there. You can preview it. Make sure you save it before you close the application, otherwise the file won't be saved. So let's call it screen recording. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. And now you can see the screen recording was on my desktop. I can now quit the application and upload my video lesson onto the Google Classroom or Google Drive and simply share it with my students. That's the basic idea and it's totally up to you to decide how you then, what is that that you show on your screen, what is the, what will be the content of your lesson, are there going to be PowerPoints or whiteboards? Uh, well, it's totally down to you. If you have any questions as to how to use whiteboards or other things, what is that that you want to show? Just make sure you leave a comment or leave a question and I'll make another video tutorial. But that's it. That's how you do a screencast and how you create a video lesson. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.